The land I am standing on is part of the Bay of Fundy, which has the highest tides in the world. And just a few hours ago, there was 45 feet of water on this land when the tide came in. Today, I'm heading to Burnt Coat Head. Burnt Coat Head is a really interesting place for a whole lot of reasons. For one, it's got a lighthouse. For two, it has a park, Burnt Coat Head Park. And it's a place where you can observe the fundy tides, the highest tides in the world. At high tide, that water rises 45 feet, sometimes 50 feet. Depends on the season. So, I'm not sure. I think from my calculations of checking the website for the tides, we're going to have uh, probably the high tide will be past and we'll be nearing low tide when I get there. So, let's uh, enjoy the ride. It's a real nice ride as well. We're taking a nice back roads all the way. See a biker is just leaving. Oh, there's a couple more here. This is a popular place for bikers to come. Uh, well, I guess anyone visiting Nova Scotia. But our uh, Harley Owners Group uh, comes out here sometimes, and 
It's a great place to enjoy a lunch and some conversation with friends. Anyway, I'll pull in and park, and uh, then we can st stroll through the park. Okay, here's the sign, Sight of the World's Highest Tides. I guess this is what brings most visitors, especially tourists, to the park. So first of all, we'll uh, stroll down this uh, little walking trail to the lighthouse. The lighthouse is not functioning anymore as a as a lighthouse. It's uh, now just a place for uh, tourists, I guess. To, it's all part of the park. So, let's go inside. Huh? There's information panels upstairs, a few fossils in the next room. Okay. Great. Okay. Carly Davidson Museum. Yes, it's in Milwaukee. I was there a couple of years ago. So, the interior of this so-called lighthouse consists of a small gift store and uh, some information on the walls, on the uh, tides, and the park. And now, upstairs, heavy motorcycle boats, man. Anyway, here's inf more information on uh, the park. You can see the staircase has a, it's closed off going up to the viewing area on the third floor. So we're just able to look along here. Here's a light used in lighthouses. And some information on the lighthouses that have been here over the years. And there's an interesting quote. Joseph Howe, a politician lived in Hans County years ago. Brag about your country. When I'm involved with Barad, I brag about everything. Cool. Maybe we all should have that pride. Anyway, now we'll continue past the lighthouse and uh, work our way down to the shoreline of the Bay of Fundy. And this part of the park is probably what makes it more well known than anything else. The lighthouse is cool, and the park area is great, it's got picnic tables, it's a real nice place to spend a day, and as you hear from the sounds in the background, uh, a lot of families uh, come here. So, uh, I don't expect we're going to hit this at low tide, because according to the tide information that's uh, printed by the park, uh, low tide is going to occur about uh, an hour and a half or two hours uh, from now. So we'll go down there, 
have a have a look you will see the the water receding from what was a high tide a few hours ago and I'll find a couple of pictures uh, on the internet to show you what it looks like at low tide and high tide because you really don't expect me to sit around here for the next four or five hours. Uh, but I will if you want. <laughs> Quite a few steps to get down there to the viewing area. was water just a few hours ago. So, and in another hour and a half, this will be all dry land. Here's a picture of it when all the tides are out, that island that we were just looking at. And here's a picture when the tides are back up. This is not a full high tide, but gives an indication of what it's like. And now I think I'm going to head back up to the park and have a picnic lunch. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I sure appreciate your watching. And maybe give me a thumbs up. And if you like my stuff, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. I'll notify you when I make the next one. So again, thank you. And I hope you have a great day.